Hey, what's going on guys? So most of you know that in addition to YouTube, I create online courses and I just released my newest course on Udemy called 20 Web Projects with Vanilla JavaScript. And as always, ignore this price right here. I have a five day $9.99 coupon and a 30 day $13.99 coupon in the description. So my past few courses, which were Node.js and then before that it was my React course, We did either a single large project or we did like a couple medium sized projects. So this course, I just wanted it to be a laid back 20 project course. So these are obviously smaller projects that you can do in an hour or two hours, three hours, and they all focus on different things. So one may focus on canvas. One focuses on, you know, the speech API that's built into the browser. They're all DOM related. So you're dealing with the document object model events dynamic functionality and I have a website that I created to go along with this called vanillawebprojects.com and you can actually view a live demo of all the courses or I'm sorry all the projects in this course. So just to go over them real quick the form validation is going to be the first one which is in basically like an intro project. Uh, just some standard client side form validation to get your feet wet and this is for all all um, skill levels. So even if you're a beginner I would suggest my modern JavaScript course first, but then this is a good follow up course where you're just building projects with the stuff that you've learned. And then we have a, a movie seat booking widget. We have a custom video player using the video API an exchange rate calculator. And you can demo these too. They're all they're all live. So you can go ahead and you can see the, the rate for four dollars USD is going to be 363 euros. We can even swap. and now see what the USD is for euros and that uses a third party API. We have a DOM array methods project to look at the different array methods like map, filter, reduce. We have this uh, menu slide out menu project with the modal. So pretty simple but very useful. We have a hangman game where we can type in a letter and if we get it wrong, it'll go ahead and build a little guy here using SVG. And then we have this meal finder. app where we can search for a word and it will find a meal with that word in it. And this uses the meal DB API. Okay, so we'll be using the fetch API with a sync await. We have an expense tracker here that uses local storage. So you can track your income and your expenses. This is really cool looking music player. So we have this UI where this spins and we add some CSS animations. obviously change the song. So they're just cool little projects that you can build, learn a couple things. Um, this is an infinite scrolling apps. So these are actually getting pulled from the JSON placeholder API. And as I scroll, you can see the little CSS loader that we're going to build and then it loads five more posts. Okay, so there's a hundred total, but it will only load five at a time. We can also filter with the input. Uh, what else? We have a speed typing game. We have a, spe a speech text reader. I'm hungry. I'm tired. So for people that are nonverbal, they can click these buttons. They can also put in custom text here and read that. We have uh, memory cards app where they're basically flashcards. So we could put a question like what is JavaScript and we'll say a programming language. add card and now we have this card that we can flip and show the answer and you can add more cards and scroll through them. You can clear them and they're all stored in local storage. So we have a lyrics search application. We have a breathing relaxer app. So this basically uses JavaScript set timeout along with some CSS animations to give you this breathe in in and out effect. So it tells you to breathe in, hold and then breathe out. with obviously some cool CSS styling. And then we have a breakout game which uses the canvas API. So just basically just break the bricks here. And we have this little show rules here that slides out. If we hit the bottom, the bricks reset. So that uses canvas. We have a New Year's countdown uh, sortable list. So this is the top 10 richest people and you can drag and drop and basically switch places and then check the order. And whatever's right will be green. Whatever's in the wrong place will be red. And then we have a, a speak number guess game. So basically you guess a number, but you speak it into your microphone. So you can see every project is completely different and um, they shouldn't take you longer than a, a few hours to complete. And then if we go to the about page, there's some more information. There's a GitHub repo with all the code. 
And down here, you'll see for questions and help, I actually had my friend Florin Pop help me with this course, and he's going to take care of the Q&A on Udemy for anyone that has questions or suggestions or anything like that. And like I said, there's 20 now, 20 projects, but I do plan on adding more. I'd like to even get up to, you know, 40 or 50 projects if possible. And even though it's vanilla JavaScript in the title, it's also HTML and CSS. It's it's really important to understand how CSS and JavaScript work together when you're dealing with the DOM because you need to add and remove certain classes, you have certain transitions and stuff like that. So, I would suggest when you take each project that you code along with me don't just watch it and uh, you know build it out yourself and even add on to some of them that's what I always suggest is to either add on to a project or or take what you've learned from it and create something of your own with it um, but yeah so I mean and you can take them in any order it's not a, a, a linear course I would suggest doing it in order but there's there's absolutely no reason why you can't jump around and or do certain projects that you're interested in all right so that's it guys hopefully you in, you take the course and enjoy it and that's it thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video